morning, Chewbacca. Welcome. Um, this is the Lutu. Let's see if we get the brand. L O T O O. Paw 6000, and it was sent to me by Music Tech. Music Tech sent me a couple things in the past, and I've had this for a while. I've had it for months, and I just it was I didn't feel like doing it. I feel like doing it. You know why I didn't feel like doing it? Because it's a thousand dollars, and the M11 exists. But as much as I love the M11, and I do love the M11, I know you're all going fuck you, Zios. Fuck you, this is a Zeos Platinum, isn't it? It is. It's a Zeos Platinum. Because this is a thousand dollar portable DAP digital audio player. And I think it's worth it. Fuck, fuck, all right? Fuck, slam everything off the tables. So, here's my M11 Pro. Well, actually, no, my M11. M11 Pro I'm selling. Um, M11, 400 bucks. If, if this is what you, if you need Huge screen, two SD card slots, you want it to sound good, have Bluetooth, get it, you're done. You're fucking done. Buy this and you go home, be very happy. The thing is, this, which is a brand you've never heard of, no one's heard of Lutu, and certainly not the Paw 6000, which sounds like something your dog would be fed by when you're out of town. Um, but it's, it's just, it's that level above like, look, Fio is made in China, right? Uh, I just, t half hour ago, finished the review of the Zishan T1, which is hilarious and made in China. It's 90 bucks. It's, it's got the quirks like a mofo. But it sounds, this sounds almost as good as this. So this is super Chinese. Sounds just about on par with what the M11 sounds like. Now, what if we doubled the cost of the M11 to a brand no one's ever heard of? Well, what if we put it into this machined aluminum case that's just smooth, like it's textured with, with um, what's the frying pan material? That's a Teflon. I'm like, oh, and then we have these giant tactile buttons with, with power, next track, last track, with like knurling on it from the machining they've done. Only one SD card, USB-C, Get to the top. Oh, don't drop it. I'm trying to hold it gingerly. You get a 4.4 pentacom balanced output, a line out, and then a phone output or a line out because it'll output balanced line out if you wanted it to, to hook it up to something else. What about the screen, Zeos? Let me describe what the screen is. Hold on, which page is it on? There's like 12 pages. Well, it's a Retina 3.77 inch IPS GFF LCD. So it's fucking clean. Like, what? Like, here's the thing. And I'm going to end up turning this on again. Let's turn on the FIO. We're going to compare the on cycles as well. But this is a very good screen. And this it, it, it might be a, a, a bit. I mean, it's not as big, that's for sure. It's not as big a screen. But this is still Android, and this is not Android. And one of the benefits of, like, I, I even praise the M11 for how fast it starts. 15 seconds on, 2 seconds off. You want, you want to race them? Here, let's shut this off. Ready? Off. And now we just watched the Fio turn on. It's, it's roughly 15 seconds. So let's see how long it takes for the, the paw to turn on. Holding. It's the logo. It says sample, because that's what this is. It's loading. It's there. We're in. We're, we are ready to rock and roll. We're done. That's fucking fast. That alone... It's a smaller footprint than the M11 by, like, I'd say three quarters of an inch high. It's probably exactly the same width, Looking, judging it in the leather case, the DD Hi-Fi case. You have to choose between outputs in the bottom or outputs in the top. And... I approve of the volume knob here on the Fio, but I extra approve of it here on the Lutu. Because I'm gonna put it back in its leather case. It comes with a leather case, by the way, the paw. I just took it out so I could show you around. You get this knob on top, with ha which has underneath it a white ring that is currently set to breathing. So it gets 
lit and down when it's playing. We hit play. You can see it does that. And you could turn that off. We could turn off all effects. You gotta be solid, whatever you want. Um, the back is glass and is a fingerprint magnet because Bluetooth is a thing. And also helps put it together a little bit cleaner and neater. And you're probably getting a nice face reveal on either side of it. It's one of the more beautiful things. And I've got the Quest style here, which I'm going to reference for a bit. This was previously, excuse me. This was previously the most expensive player I'd have reviewed. This is the, what's your model number? You're some weird quest style. Why don't I remember your name and model number? Anyway, this is like a $1,200 player. And it is dwarfed in power and UI and usability by the Lutu. I still have this. This would come out for when I'm doing IMs, which I have an infinite number left to review. And I might just sell this or give it to someone. Just be like, hey, did I give you something at Christmas? Here you go. Because the Quest style sounds amazing. Not a powerhouse. Really good for IMs. But the UI is just, here, I'll turn it on for a second. Current mode amplification. No touch screen on this, by the way. So you want to talk about how far, you know, plus thousand dollar players have gotten super slow to start up no touch screen no android there it is the qp2r and then you have to like spin this because they couldn't buy the uh the apple just touch thing so it's a physical rotating and here's your options playing track go and, and that's it you got it's not a touch screen, is it? No, it's not a touch screen. What are those three? How am I supposed to get to that? How, how do I file to play? Oh, I have the SD card slot out. So I didn't remember that I did that. And it's got the knob on top, and you could do that, but you can't. Like, you have to knob on top. And it's a very easy to turn knob, which is why there's guards up. Look. I praised it because it sounds amazing. And I praise this because it sounds amazing and it's relatively cheap for what you get. Carbon fiber back, Bluetooth, all that shit. So now this Lutu comes along and I'm going to praise it because everything that I want in a portable, not internet connected, you're not getting Spotify on this, you're not getting Tidal, you're not getting Quobuz. This is for people who have all their music in whatever format on a single micro SD card and you want to be disconnected from everything but your music, here you go. This. There's no worry about siloing app. It's not running Android. You can't do that. The main menu, I don't even think I could pick a wallpaper. It's this. You get playlist, album list, songs, folders, artist settings. It's showing you down here what's currently playing. You can play or pause it. You can next track from the main menu. It never takes you away from the music. I had those on. Those are my Neumanns, linked in the description. These are the new M1070s. Uh, I have my balance cable from um, Ursign here. I'm gonna plug it in 4.4. The volume control. So it's this beautiful uh, golden thing that you can control from both ends. Now, once you start controlling it, you can just, they've, they've put it right dead center because they know that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna adjust it one or two clicks in your pocket or you're gonna thumb it right down the middle. Volume screen goes off. The top bar shows you what song out of how many. I currently have 500 and I'm on song 507 out of 1550 songs. We are on high gain using the 4.4. It's on shuffle. There's 70% battery life left. It's got a very large battery. I think it claims like uh, 13 hours or something. I don't want to get that wrong because someone will yell at me. Please do not yell at me. Uh, playback, 15 hours, 5,200 milliamp battery. So a lot of this is battery. Uh, it uses AKM 4493 DAX. It uses, it has Bluetooth. You can Bluetooth to this and then Bluetooth out of it. It has bi-directional Bluetooth, just like the FIO does. Basically everything the FIO can do, this can do. So it's doing it for $400 versus a thousand. So then why get this? It doesn't even have two SD cards. 
because it's a third of a watt output and the way it's laid out, the way everything is laid out is so much more conducive to like just listening to music. I love the Fio. I love the Fio music app. I love the way it's set up. I love the screen. I love being able to sideload apps. This is for things above that. This is for people who don't need that shit. If you are just going to plug, if I went to Can Jam tomorrow, this is what I'd take. Assuming the Quolos doesn't exist. We'll get to the Quolos. I'll figure out how to say that in a bit. But right now, yes. Could I take the M11? Absolutely. I would be very satisfied with the M11. I'd take this instead. Because it turns on, it turns off. Let's go to songs. Everything on it, everything about it is faster than the Fio M11. Here, I scroll down. You start scrolling down, and it brings up this little thing on the side. And you can literally, bottom of the list, top of the list, everything's shown, everything. Hit play all, plays everything. You don't want to see the album art? Swipe. Lyrics could be there, there's no lyrics. Swipe again. Here's everything you need to know about that song. Uh, the bit rate, let me lower this a bit, hold on, so it doesn't get me pulled off of YouTube. Bit rate, size, what, what format it is. You could hit the pull down to see the full location of it. You could add it to playlists if you wanted to. One more screen. That right there, I have dreamed about a full view with levels and an equalization uh, display forever. No one can do it right. No one can do it. You got to spend a thousand dollars to get that. And this is all I leave it on. It doesn't stay. Like you could change tracks and it's fine. But every time you load the player, it's going to remember the... It's going to do album art if it can. Which, look how clear that is. The album art is ridiculously nice looking. And I know how good the M11 looks. So, mmm. So let's go back to the main screen. How do we go back? I think it's... Hold, please. That's there. There, all right. Swipe up from the bottom. It's similar to that. We have to swipe up on one side to go home and then other side to go back. This is just swipe up from the middle. So here's our main screen. You still see Jack Reacher's playing. Um, playlist, album list. It's here. Look, all the album art. Stop. Of course, there's no fucking album art here. Steel drums at Christmas. Perfect. Want to play that? No, back. What is this? Here's our quality filter. You could switch to sort by album quality, not just A to Z. That's a Zeos feature. If I ever done seen a Zeos feature, you could set ranges here. You only want to see DST that's in at least fucking 2.5. Or a range filter between these things from this to this uh, 2200k. Look, j just holy shit. Okay, back that up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Folders. So, folders gives you just a folder list. Let's go back to the main one. Uh, we go back. Um, on my SD cards, I usually keep everything in a folder, singular. So, OST space dash space Westworld. Boom, here's all your Westworld things. Boom, you click it. Now, once you're in the folder, it's going to stay in that folder. Unless you tell it not to, which would be going here. Shuffle, or maybe go back and then hit play all. Does play all do it? No, you have to go back twice. To say songs, play all. Now we're shuffling everything. Lord again, Reverie. I don't even know what this is, but I have it. So you get to pick your visualization, or this, or lyrics. I kind of wish I had lyrics. I need to figure out how to download lyrics so I could do it. You get to sort it however you want. Uh, song title, the file type, FLAC. Here's your progress bar. The screen is very, very accurate. Like I could just barely, I could move this thing one second back and forth if I wanted to. Well, three seconds, I got fat fingers. But, um. Songs, folders, artists, it's the same thing. You can pick the artists, you can play all 292 items. You can sort them in multiple ways. A perfect circle. Only one song. Currently selecting them. I can select and delete things. Here, hold on. Put that back on. One, two. I could delete 
just everything from this artist. Fuck, fuck a perfect circle today. Delete. Add to playlist. Add to playing list, which is not a playlist. Currently playing list. You can go through and while a song is playing, just currently add things to the next one that wants to play. Like maybe I want to hear this after that. Just scroll around. If you've got a five minute song, you have five minutes to pick a hundred songs or whatever you want. And when the next song plays, you can pick your next song. Very, very nice for someone who's actually listening to music. Settings. So here's where we start getting into like, Zio's, why am I spending a thousand dollars? Here's your basic list. Play settings, output player, hardware decoder on, EQ settings, ATE, which stands for a thing I'll go look up. Your filter, your Bluetooth, your Bluetooth DAC, the, the TF card, Total space of 30 gig, it's a 32 gig card in here, with a free space of 500 megs. I could format it, here's my device's name, the model, the wireless LAN address, so you can download an update. Software version of hardware is sample 01. So that doesn't seem like a lot. Let's go into the settings, play settings. So you got list loop shuffle, sh single repeat sequence. Okay, sleep timer, show lyrics, and then file switching effect. I currently have it on gapless. You could have it fade out of the last song and then a new one comes on. Uh, gapless will sort of have one go down and one come up. You can't adjust the, the length of that, which is unfortunate, but it's there. Output settings. <clears throat> All right, so left and right balance, plus or minus three decibels left and right. Nice, not 50 decibels, just three. Then you have output type. So you have line out or headphone balanced output or output gain, high and low gain. Then you have the same thing for the three and a half millimeter. You have output type and output gain. And a separate, a separate balance setting for the three and a half versus the balanced. Okay. Uh, Bluetooth settings. Gain for the DSD, you could change between plus six and negative 18. The USB DSD output, you could change from PCM to DOP. The VU meter, the one we were just looking at that I was praising, you could set it to be pre-fader or post-fader. I like pre-fader. So back out of output settings, player settings. Breathe light, that's when that light goes up and down. I could shut that off and it'll just be off. Put it on and it'll breathe on. I want it on. The volume, if I do this, that makes it go up. If I push down and swipe right, the volume goes up. You don't like that? Set it from clockwise to anti from anti-clockwise to clockwise. Then when you turn the volume like this, it'll go up, which means that's volume up. Up to you, completely configurable. Um, power off standby, 10 minutes, screen off in five minutes because I'm reviewing it. Language English. The buttons on the side, play pause in the middle. Most players, down is next track, up is last track. It wasn't on this one, but there's a setting right here. Do you want forward, fast forward and or file FF and FB side buttons? You wanna swap them? Sure can, whatever your preference is. Uh, keyboard, English, Chinese, Japanese. So if you're one of those three, there's a search feature we're gonna get to in a second. Let's get out of this first. So that's the player settings, hardware decode on, filter, uh, free space. All right, let's get out of settings. Let's go back to where we're playing music. Scroll down. Pull down, just like an Android player, just like anything on Android. I'll pull down from the top. It starts with a search feature. You click it and you get a keyboard. But what am I searching for? Hmm, let's see if I have West. Oh, there it is. I could find everything that to do with the song as fast as humanly fucking possible. D does search exist on the Fio 11? Yeah. I didn't show it off because it's not easy to get to. This is literally down, click, type. Um, coo, Sam Cooke. Boom. There you go. One song. Boom. Play. It's playing. Now, I think, yeah, next track is now locked. We search for something. The search results will get shuffled. You can go back up here. If you click that, it shows you everything you searched previously. I looked for corn, I didn't have any. Westworld, it searched for W, W-E, W-E-S, and W-E-S-T, and you can you could just X out ones that aren't irrelevant. Although I kind of wish it didn't save the individual button presses. It's like the letter B. I searched for the letter B. What's this do? Hold on, I'm actually, I'm curious now. I click that. What is that? Oh, that just shows the search history, maybe? So you have a search button that immediately finds whatever song you want to listen to. 
I'm trying to think what's on this. Um, maybe, do I have any Run the Jewels? Run. Yeah, I do. 48 songs. Boom. Boom, I found all the Run the Jewels. And if I shuffle, all the Run the Jewels play. Whatever would come up in that search result. 48. In fact, up here, it changes. And now it says 20 out of 48. Because that's what I'm currently shuffling. All the search results. You want to go back to everything? Go back to songs. You hit play all. Boom, 1,550. It always seems to go to Lord Greenlight. I wonder why. Because it is on shuffle. And the next one's something different, and the next one's something different. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Equalizer. This is where some shit needs to get defined, because it's shit I never heard of. Where are you? Are you on this page? No, you're on the other page. You're on the actual, the actual homepage. So, Parametric EQ2, EQ the second gen low phase distortion parametric EQ. Now, the problem being, it's one of those where you have to pick the genre where it's off or classic or pop or rock or techno or dance or headphone or jazz or full bass. Now, you can't see it to make your own EQ, which is like, well, that's stupid. Like, what if I don't want to do that? Like, what if I need to EQ this pair of headphones to love it? Well, then that's when you go to the ATE, which is, again, you can't choose it, but what the fuck ATE is, Instead of being a parametric EQ to adjust things, which actually, wait, that shows it right there. Why can't I get to that? You can adjust the parametric EQ. How do I get to it? How do I get you? I was thinking I couldn't get to you. Maybe I gotta click something else. Maybe when I switch through this, hold on. All right, parametric EQ, full, full base. Show me how to change you. How do I change you? It's in Chinese there. Let me do this. Zeus is a bad reviewer. I'm a bad reviewer. Just know that right here, it looks like it's showing me frequency zero hertz, 20, 20, zero. So they're actually drawing the curve. How do I get to you? I've had this player for two months and I've never been able to actually adjust the EQ. It's in there. I'll find it. I have the manual. I can look it up. So anyway, after you've done dicking with the actual EQ, which apparently you can, there's... E A T E, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I finally got here to the bottom of the Chinese website, and it says studio quality, acoustic, timber embellisher, timbre, timber, tim, tim, tim timbre, tim fucking you all tell me how to say it in the comments. I know I can't say it right ever. I'm from New York, all right. Fuck you. I'm walking here. Timber, timbre, timber. Tam timbre. Timber. It's timber without an A. I think I remember it's timber now. Anyway, it's an acoustic timbre embellisher. Embellisher isn't even a fucking word and you know it. Anyway, that, you get to choose off, brighter, sweet, dental, style 701, style 990, diffuse field, near field, diffuse field, far field. So this basically, and I've played with it, is very reminiscent of what uh, SMSL did with their DAC, where it was like Crystal 1, Crystal 2, where unlike an equalizer where it's fucking with actual frequencies, this is doing some other weird kooky shit. So anything vocal range, which is why it's a... I forgot the name of it already. It's an acoustic uh, timbre embellisher. It'll just, like, if it, it can make something sound brighter, but it's not doing it with just EQ tweaks. It's doing some other shit. Brighter, sweet. Don't ask me what the fuck dental is, by the way. Uh, I'm going to put this back in this leather case so I can stop just fucking it with handprints. Which, here's the leather case it comes with. Which is just perfect. And I haven't taken it out since I put it in there. Boom. Everything you need access to. The buttons, you could feel them right through the th soft leather. So next track is perfect. So we could put on dental. Just, just for, just, let's put on dental. And we'll watch some Kiznaiver, or we'll listen to some Kiznaiver with some dental on there. Now, you can't adjust the speed of the volume, but that's fine, because I'd usually just pick and then do. A style 990. Brighter. See, sweet sounds brighter than brighter. 
And then dental is actually duller than brighter. I don't, uh, and then off is normal. I usually don't need Q stuff. Just all you got to know is when I plug a headphone into this $1,000 portable, I believe it. That's the key here, people. Does Zeos believe it? Believe what? Believe it. Is this what this song is supposed to sound like on any particular headphone I plug in? Yes. Is this as good as a desktop DAC amp? Yeah. I would trust this to compete with desktop DAC amps. It's $1,000. It's heavy as a brick. It Well, again, we're going to get to that Quolos player. But it's so fast and so directly purposeful for audio. And then it's got 120 dB signal to noise ratio. So super efficient IMs are just like, eh, whatever. THX clean. And I know I don't talk like this a lot, but I think the sound is fast. That could just be because these M1070s are relatively new in my environment. Oh, you want to switch to low gain? Pull down. Boom. Now we're on low gain. Now we're on high gain. Bluetooth is currently off. I'm not going to demonstrate Bluetooth. Volume hold, you could set that on so that you can't accidentally fuck the volume up. So you just set it and you have to pull down the menu to change it. Beautiful. Oh, I, gotta, I better take it to um, high gain again. I think this is going to require it. I'm done listening to music for the day. Power off, power on. Off. It feels like a $1,000 player. The software alone is worth $1,000. Just the cl it has absolutely all the things I want. I want to turn the knob this way instead of this way. Fine. I want to have this button reversed instead of that. Fine. I want a beautiful visualization of the, of the EQ and everything. Fine. You can fuck with the EQ. Apparently, fine. Want to put on some like just sweeteners? Maybe you got a dull set of headphones and just you don't want to fuck with an EQ, but you want it to sort of just like more. Boom, you have that with ATE. You want to have a keyboard that the only thing it's missing, and I will co keep complaining about this until companies put it in, is when I'm typing on the keyboard, I would love some tactile feedback, even a sound in the headphones. Or have the actual thing vibrate. No one puts vibrators in their portable players anymore. The M11 Pro would have been like astonishing if it did that. But, and this would be too. Like it would just, that extra level of just, I'm gonna type. I can't stand typing on a phone without any sort of tactile feedback. So why should I stand it on this? Although you're gonna be typing on this way less. You might type on the M11, because the M11 you could sideload like Plus Messenger and Telegram and a web browser. But with something this focused, it's gonna be much less. I love this thing. Oh, I pulled these out because uh, DD Hi-Fi sent them, and I don't get a chance to talk about their stuff enough. So let's say you have 4.4 balance set on this, and you want a two and a half right angle. They sell these crazy adapters. That is a right angle 2.2 adapter off of a Pentacon. They also sell the same exact thing, right angle adapter for a three and a half millimeter unbalanced. You can plug your balanced headphones, or IEMs, presumably I'll be an IEM, into that. And I just got these, which are machined aluminum right angle Pentacon connectors for two and a half. So if you have a headphone like this, you can do that. And now you have a right angle two and a half, which would have been good when I was reviewing this thing not long ago. Boom, boom. And then there's also that exact same thing into a three and a half millimeter. So we could plug this in here. And now we can plug a balanced headphone into the unbalanced output. And then you can plug this. So you can plug a different balanced headphone to the balanced output. So it's just, I just love their, I just love the DD Hi-Fi adapters. So links to those in the descriptions, yes. But it does, I will say this, it does come out of the case. Like when you try to pull out some headphones, it's smooth. I guess that's good. I don't want it to get stuck in the case where I'm like forcing it out with my fingertip, but it does occasionally want to slide out of here. It's fucking great. It's great. It's thousand dollars. It's too much for most people to spend, but I know my my audience. I have two hundred plus people in that ten dollar Patreon chat, and those people spend entirely too much money on things, 
And this might be one of those things they spend entirely too much money on. Just the way it handles things. This is a fucking joke, the way this handles things. I mean, I don't hate this, but having no touchscreen in 20... I guess this was like a 2017, 2018 player. Was like, what? It blew my mind. It's still... This build quality is absurd. Like, it's absurdly well built. But single SD card, single SD card... Two and a half balance instead of Pentacon, that is at least Pentacon. I feel like if I never sold this, I'd still be happy. But it's getting to the end of its usefulness. There's no Bluetooth. There's no there's no nothing on this. There's no you can't even I don't even remember if it shows album art, come to think of it. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. What a beautiful fucking thing. I have to see if Questile has something new. And maybe... They used to send me things. Maybe I'll ask if I've got it. And, of course, most people watching this review are just going to go out and blow money either on a Fio M11 or a Fio M9 or a Fio M6. You can pick and choose your the power of the Fio you want. You can get M5. Little M5 is a wrist-sized one. It's great. M6, little bar of soap. I have it up there. I'm never going to sell it. Great. M9 is like the slightly more high-end, like $300 one. And I love it because it's, again, it's simple, it's fast, it turns on and off. It looks a lot like my Wa 11 Topaz. But then this is like the big boy that comes out when I'm, oh, I got a new headphone. I know that this thing can sit idle and running forever, which this can't do, but does that matter when it takes exactly this long to turn on from a completely off state? Boom. So the whole, like, hey, this can stay in standby mode for uh, 80 days is sort of, like, taken away when it starts in five seconds. Because that will... I turn that on, it's been dead. I've been sat here for a week and a half, two weeks, and I like, turn it on, it's like, oh, it went from 80% to 30% because it was running some sort of scan in the back. Oh, fuck. This I would just turn off and turn on. I turn this one off, I turn it on. It went from 100 to 67% in like three weeks because I turn it off and I turn it back on, I use it, I turn it back off. It's a solid fucking unit. Oh, it also comes with two screen protectors. I do not have them on there, but it comes with two of them. It comes with this nice uh, microfiber towel in case that's what you, you get off on is microfiber towels, the free of microfiber towels. There you go. I, I really like the box also is, is made of like shiny glitter. And look, they put a gold where the gold is. Look, you know if you're spending $1,000. If you're thinking about a $1,000 portable player, this is the one Zeos has touched. Only this one. There is, however, in case you want to really be a dick, the Lutu Paw Gold Touch. Not even a number anymore. See, it goes like 100, 200, 500... 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 6,000 gold touch. That's $2,800. And frankly, I don't know. What do you do? What could you do over this other than just raw power? Why is the flash there? Did they steal the flash from Netflix to put him? Two second boot up. This is not a two second boot up. It's a Same size screen. Gorilla Glass, DLC, I just want to know why. Same size battery, only 10 hours of playback time. It's got to be more powerful. See, it's 500 milliwatts instead of 300 milliwatts. So, I mean, it's a little more powerful? Why? See, this is... Zeos' brain has moved. He used to be the cheap ass who was like, why do I need to spend more than 100 bucks? And then it was, why do I need to spend more than 400 bucks? And now it's, why do I need to spend more than 1,000 bucks? And I don't see the reason. So maybe if they want to send me the most expensive gold touch paw, I could figure that out on my own. But uh, in the meantime, I'm done sucking this thing's D. It's like you all to know I don't make any money if you buy it from Music Tech. But they did send it to me for free as a sample, as you can tell, because when I turn it on, it says sample. And I'm not selling it. So I basically did this as a charitable thing. I even like the little gold stitching around there. It's not white, it's gold. It's gold. All right, I'm done with this. I will now shut this off.
again for like the third time. And I'm just going to put it back in a... I have an anchor bag for it because it didn't come with a bag. I kind of wish it came with a bag. Ready to keep that screen clean. I'll go zippy zip. I'll put it down. And the next time I get a new headphone and I'm like, really want to test that real fast, but my computer's not on. I want to turn it. Picked it up. Okay. Playing. That's it. That's the basic long and short of it. It, it feels faster than the Fio. It looks as good and it sounds better. I, better. I, I, sound stage? How's it sound, Zeus? Well, I have no complaints about the Fio M11 and the way that sounds. Something about that. Just something about it, all right? I can't put it into words, don't make me. If you're spending a grand, if you want, you could buy two M11s, you could buy an M11 Pro and a $400, you know, bicycle, or you could buy the Lutu. I like to put things in perspective. You could buy nothing and spend $1,000 on a fun night in Vegas. Anyway, thanks for stopping by and watching. Uh, wallpapers, as always, available in the description. Feel free to crop them, put them on your phone. Uh, if you want to see these reviews early or ask me any questions, there is a Patreon and subscribe star linked in the description, depending on which service you uh, prefer. They all have the same benefits. You get all the wallpapers. The $5 tier yard sales, if I'm selling something, like this Quest style. I don't want to sell, I don't want to sell it. It's so fucking beautiful. But if I'm selling something like the Quest style or an old Fior, I'm certainly selling this Zishan because it, it works. No. I'll even sell it with the original SD card that came with all the sample music. Because I'm pretty sure Chinese music doesn't have any copyright claim rights. Someone tell me if I should or shouldn't do that. You bid whatever you bid, $83.01. No, wait, that's how much it actually costs. $8.33. If you're a $5 patron, uh, from the 1st to the 10th, you put in your bid. You Continental the United States, I ship for free. International, pay half shipping. And then the $10 uh, support tiers get you into the private behind-the-scenes Telegram chat, which I live on and answer people's questions all the time, every day, all day. Come hang out with me and Chewbacca in there. Um, have we done? I got so much more shit to do. Oh my god, my stomach. It's right after Christmas. I had to take a big break because family and Christmas and pasta. And now it's between now and New Year's. I am going to pound away at all this stuff. I just want you to know how much, how hard it is to work uh, and do this. So I gather my thoughts and somehow talk for 41 minutes. This feels like a 41 minute video. Am I right? I love guessing because I'm always wrong. Anyway. Cute wallpaper. I'm done. I'll see you tomorrow with another review. And don't forget to check out Hi-Fi Guides. Gotta keep plugging shit. Hi-Fi Guides is the site where you can look up things like to buy. And Hi-Fi Guides Forum is the site where you go to argue that the thing you bought uh, was great or bad. So check those out. And I think we're done. And if we're done, I should plug Hi-Fi Guides at the beginning next time. Because traffic there is good for everybody.